Yeah, that's as, as good as it does. My head is... <laughs> okay, I knew I had a small head, but fuck. It is natural is that... for one to develop yeah. a facade to influence how people perceive us. Oh, this opening. Some project an image of perfection to mask their basic insecurities. Others don't have the luxury of worrying about first impressions. And I kind of want to watch the show again now. Intentions. Often backfire. I kind of want to watch the show again yes, now. <laughs> we all veil our truths, but how we leave an impression is what defines Shit. us. That that you're gonna have to do on your own, I think. <laughs> That, that one's gonna be yours. Like how you won't watch Sex in the City with me. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> or you wouldn't, and you also wouldn't watch Gilmore Girls with me. <laughs> there are guys that like Gilmore Girls. There are, and that's great for them. <laughs> and I'm, I'm very happy for them. That's... Okay, some men wear pink, you don't wear pink. There are things I do and things I don't, and that's okay. He's feminine in his own ways. Let's start the game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. I was trying to be inclusive. Cool. I can't read. It's a create new family. Is that what that says? Yes. I'm blind. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> yes. No, it's it's a good thing. Welcome to Wisteria Lane. Yeah, I can't. It's read time that. to create your character and your family. Customize yourself with the options in the upper left. Select your husband and son with the options to the left. Then click the play button in the lower right when you're ready. Okay, I'm going to take this seriously because I wanted this game so bad in middle school. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going I to know be you and, from basement quality, so... And I know that you and Taha and Nathan would totally just make, like, I don't know, like, the fucking weirdest looking person ever. Probably. Absolutely. Which is why you're playing right now. <laughs> because this you suggested this. And yeah, I thought like, that was a great idea. And I've been idea. wanting to play this since it came out how many years ago? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, appearance. Can I... I can't zoom in on myself, can I? No. This is as good as it's going to This is get. like Sims 1 graphics. Yeah. Let's see... It's kind of like Malfoy hair a little bit. Malfoy hair. Shut up, you know I... <laughs> I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be cutesy and name him Pat? Oh, fuck, yeah. yeah. You. This is your playthrough. This is yours. But if I do my playthrough, then you're gonna be mad at me. No, I'm not gonna be mad at you. You do whatever you want. Oh, this boy. Is, this is your baby. Oh... You suggested this. Oh, God. Let's see how it would be if we lived in this world. Okay. You don't want that, do you? <laughs> this is what people are here for, to witness the suffering. Let's do it. Okay. Let's make it happen. I wish my eyes weren't so shit. <laughs> is that the son? Yep. What's our son's name? Oh, oh yeah. Your name is Fuck. <laughs> That's my grandson. What was his name again? Oh yeah, oh, fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> because as if you don't remember the name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I wanted Flynn or Eugene. Which one do you want to go with? Uh, we'll, we'll go Flynn. Throw a little Breaking Bad in there slash Disney. Uh huh. <laughs> Um, where right, am you, I? You also, uh, that one. First name. Let's see, do I want to spell my name how I s want to spell it when we get married, or... Do you do whatever you want to do. Spell it how it's spelt now. Sure. And the last name. Nope. Nope. Sorry. You make one up. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll go with, um... That information's out there. So, whatever. But <laughs> It was out of habit. Yep, yep. It's all um, what's a name we can agree on? 
Dick sponge. No. Dick sponge. No. For that, no. You sure? How about Walker? Walker. Uh, sure. Or do you want to do, like... The Walker's fine. No, no. Like no. Skywalker? No. Where, where'd you get that name from? It, it, I come up with OCs. You know that, right? No. I you do now. Four years and I never told you about OCs? No. That's news. That's new information to me. Oh, boy. <laughs> this has been a part of my life forever. Okay. Um... Let's go with Forrester. Okay. Or Baratheon. Name our son Stannis. Yeah. <laughs> Stannis. Fuck you, mouse. <laughs> How's it going, dude? You following a king other than the one true king Stannis If I fuck Baratheon? up, can you let me know? Because I can't see. Perfect. Um, there, there's an extra R at the beginning. Where? There. So, how is it spelled? Can you spell it out for me? F-O-R-R-E-S-T-E-R. -E -E Thank you. Okay, now to make us look nice. Alright. As nice as you can make a Sims 1 model. <laughs> yeah. This does look a lot like The Sims. Is it made by... I have no idea, but... Them, I... Do you think it's made by, like, EA or, like, Maxis or something? I, I didn't really Is that see. Dream Daddy I see down in the corner? Yeah, that's Dream Daddy you see down in the corner. Ooh. Me and the boys are gonna play that for for this show. Let's see. What kind of hair do I want? You guys would have already gotten past this part. There is indecisive. <laughs> this is a big part of this is can I change the color? Yeah. Create color. your own desperate housewife. What would you say my hair color is? Should I go with black or brown? Because it's, br it's black sometimes. Yeah. Well, I think, well. I can't tell what color. I haven't dyed it in a bit, but it's, uh, it's usually black. Kind of blackish. Is that dark enough? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. that's good. Probably. Actually, it looks a little red. I can't really tell. Oh, yeah, I think these it's are red. just. These are <laughs> just. I just randomize your face. And oh, it's... really? Yeah. You, you just kind of be like, nah, this this boilerplate husband, this boilerplate husband. Let's see. That's pretty great. Well, which one looks more like me? I think it's all the same face. Expressions, just different skin tones. I think there. Right there? Yeah. Okay. I can't see it, so whatever. <laughs> it's a little more tan, but that's okay. I'm probably that tan in the... No, I'm not that tan in the summer. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, boy. Wow, look at that rogue. <laughs> look at that member of some... For... <laughs> Alright. Look at that police chief. Is what he reminds me of. Reminds me of like Space Cop. I can't tell what he looks like. Uh, kind of a forty-year-old dude. Ew. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. If people are forty sometimes. Uh, I'm it's sorry. gonna happen to everyone. Maybe I shouldn't be a streamer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll offend so many people. <laughs> you know that one chick? Yeah, she's an ass. I want to go with this one. Okay. Now our son. He also looks like a cop. He looks awful. Not, not my son. <laughs> the son doesn't look like a cop, but the husband kind of looks like a policeman. Yeah. No. Yeah. There we go. That? Oh, uh, back one. Oh, wait. What? How about one more? Oh, no. Okay, it's just randomizing it, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what's, make, what's that? Make what? him question. What? Make him question? Oh, no, like, go back, like, two. What the fuck? 
Okay. Never mind. It's... I want that one. Okay. Looks like a good disappointment. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> Show us your titties, Jesus. I'm shy, LOL. <laughs> what inscription is on? Oh, Ooh. shit. She's getting heavy. Is this even considered explicit because of how bad the pixelation and everything is? Whatever. It's like Sex and the Sims 1. It's, it's like, what? <laughs> it's allowed on Twitch. Like, it's there's a listing for it on Twitch. Well, I'm gonna assume it's all above board and they're not gonna put anything that... It's suburbia. It's very quiet. When I recall my time on Wisteria Lane, I think mostly of good things. Well-maintained lawns, and even better maintained housewives. Of course, there is another side to life on this idyllic street. A darker side. One that my friends and neighbors would do anything to cover up. While we all wish to be the person our neighbors envision us to be, there are always secrets we don't want our neighbors to know. Some are secrets in name only, out in the open for all the world. Oh, I remember to see, her. While others find she was a famous. She's still a famous actress, but I don't think she's in a lot of stuff right now. Things always find a way to come back to the surface. Was that me? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty clunky. <laughs> no one moves like that. A bad first impression can cause a prospective buyer to question their decision, while a strong impression will allow you to beat prospective buyers to the punch. However, first impressions can often be misleading. When Edie first met her new neighbors, she thought she had met the perfect. Oh, I hate that house. Edie and everyone else in the neighborhood will soon find out there's no such thing as the perfect family. Welcome to Wisteria Lane. Now that you've created your family, the first thing wow. you do is moving. What a fucking eyesore. Now, what does it want me to do? Oh, bad, my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, this this is um. So this is like about like two meters, two three meters away from from us, um, and also it's like cut in some 720p window that so we're not even watching the full screen. Oh, so the stove will allow you to cook meals to help fulfill your composure need. Your to composure meal, need. Select the difficulty of the dish. And then select the recipe you want to prepare. <laughs> what? Start the cooking mini game. To gain access to even more recipes, you'll need to uh, score no a thanks. Or better I came here for the drama. The currently available dishes. Bon appetit. Oh, good God. <laughs> the couch has two actions: sit and upgrade. Sit will raise your composure need. Upgrade will allow you to upgrade your couch so that you'll regain composure more quickly while sitting. A lot of mechanics in this Desperate Housewives game. What the fuck? <laughs> the stairs to go between the a lot of systems. The to do so, select the stairs and choose the Use Stairs action. <laughs> if someone knocks on your door, click on the door and select Open Door to let them in and initiate conversation. <laughs> if you want to enter or Is that knocking house, I hear? You can simply yeah. click inside or outside of your house and the door will open automatically. If you want to enter someone else's house, hello, I'm Edie. Oh, I'm now involved in a it's conversation. It's Edie, that bitch. Hover over one of the what does the conversation the say? To see what your dialogue options are, and then click on the line that you want to say. Oh, she's saying it now. Choose carefully. What you say will have an impact on the flow of the conversation. <laughs> okay. Okay, then, okay, so the, hello, Edie, what can I do for you? Hello... Edie, Brit, right? Uh, please, call me Sarah. What do you want? Okay. As Fairview's number one real estate broker for two years running, I feel it's my obligation to show you around your new house. Do you mind if I come in? <laughs> Should 
Traditionally, one is supposed to wait for a response to that question. Make yourself at home. Apparently, I have no choice in the matter. Thanks. Now let me give you a little dirt on this place. Sometimes people have a lot to say. In those instances, a continue button will appear in the middle of the screen instead of the face emoticons you typically see. Click continue to hear more of what the other person has to say. To load the next wave file. This house was actually built on an ancient Indian burial ground. This is made oh, really? It's <laughs> made in fucking dark basic. You can't be serious. That's terrible. Is this house haunted? Oh, how exciting. I love a house with an interesting past. Wow, I didn't think you'd be excited about that. You're kind of weird, you know that? Yes! <laughs> Fortunately, I was just kidding. Besides, do you think I'd really tell you if it was? What kind of a saleswoman would I be? Uh, a maybe good one? someone who, <laughs> a trust who, really who one? can we have some actual disclosure together. words. You know what I'm saying. This girl gets it. You're just pulling my leg again, aren't you? What What did she say? Uh, there have been a few news newsworthy events on the street, however. What do you mean, newsworthy? Cut the crap, Edie. No, I'm quite serious. Moving on. Continue. This is some nice furniture you have in here. Wow, nice big TV. Is that supposed to be some kind of joke? Really, I always thought it was sort of small. Hey, wait a minute. And what, just what's that supposed to mean? They gave me a birthday gift for my birthday party on my birthday. <laughs> that was just mad disrespectful. Actually, I just remembered that I have an appointment I need to get to. Houses don't sell themselves, you know. <laughs> Believe me, I wish they did sometimes. Anyway, if you need anything, call me on my cell. Here's the number. At the end of a conversation, an exit button will appear in the lower center of the screen instead of standard dialogue options. Click exit to leave the conversation. Thanks, you certainly are the most unique person I've met so far. And by unique, I mean overbearingly obnoxious. <laughs> Thank you, Edie. It was a pleasure meeting you in person. The picture on the business card doesn't do you justice. Bye, Edie. It's been real interesting meeting you. I like how you said justice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm putting on the fuck voice. <laughs> Seriously? Go away! <laughs> this is my fucking house. Hello. I'm Bree Vandekamp. Pleased to meet you, Bree. What brings you over here? Hello, Bree. What can I help? How can I help you? I was just having coffee with some of the other women of Wisteria Lane, and I was wondering if you'd like to join us. I'm actually not really comfortable meeting new people yet. I'm a little shy. Actually, I have a lot of work to do here still. Hope you understand. I'd be delighted to join you, Bree. Which house is yours? Oh, I completely understand. But if you finish up early, please come over. They're all dying to meet you. Wait, I'm going to try something. <laughs> okay, what do they say? Uh, I completely understand, but if you finish up early, please come over. They're all dying to meet you. I think I might have accidentally chose an option. And I think it was, I have a lot to do right now. No, I said I have a lot to do oh, right now. Oh, you did? Okay, good, good. I'm asking what these say. Oh, gotcha. I'll make my way over there as soon as I can. Okay, I'll be right over. I will try to make it over when I can. Excellent. See you soon. Bye. Do I have to close my door or will it close itself? <laughs> you open it up and then Denny comes in. <laughs> it's like, hey, I came to borrow a cup of sugar. How many people walk in and out of this house? No, I don't want to walk out of the house. I want to close my freaking... Can't even close my own damn door. What if it's summer? There we go! 
Oh, so it's motion activated. Okay. I don't know. To turn your stereo, Suburbia. You to turn on action. After you turn on your stereo, you can listen to a variety of different types of music by simply choosing the appropriate action. When you finish listening to music, turn off your stereo by clicking the turn off action. <laughs> Some opera. Where's rock? Right there. Yep. Now, sleep to Brooklyn! <laughs> Oh, I'm not the one is who's so an far is away metal an when I feel the snake bite enter my veins. Controls are very clunky. Yeah. It's a little better if you're like sitting at a desk. And with the monitor, like, up in monitor distance instead of... See, are there any more question marks they're gonna bug me about? Not that I can... Oh, wow. Nope. Nope. Is it just me, or did that spin around a little too fast for you? Yeah, this isn't good. <laughs> like, most games like this, you just kind of click and, and move. Uh, this one, no. Up the stairs? That says wash hands. Or primp. And it's sponsored by Caress. Oh. Thank you, Caress. I guess. What? I can't just you, go. You keep click. You see what you're clicking on? Is no, the vanity behind, behind the. No, the I stair? don't know what I'm clicking on. There. There we go. It's, uh. It's got some good detection there. This is a high quality game, and I'm glad you, you suggested it. Yup. A childhood dream is being realized right now. <laughs> a really shitty childhood dream. <laughs> Don't let your memes be dreams. Don't let your memes be dreams. <laughs> Sleeping on your bed will raise your composure need. To do so, select the bed and then select the sleep at the shower. Whatever, I'll struggle. Your hygiene, thus helping you fulfill your appearance need. To take Can I shower, crawl out? Does that say crawl out the window? The shower action. Uh, it says go outside. So I think so. Okay. It's a seven one. Ooh. What the hell? It's not right now. Why are you moving? I didn't tell. Oh, did I say go outside? How did I get downstairs? I think you might have jumped out the window. I don't know. It, no, it's going somewhere. Like, she's going somewhere specific, oh. I think. I didn't tell her to go anywhere. <laughs> she's like, it is four o'clock, and it's time to walk. It's time to stand by this specific tree. <laughs> she's, like, gathering. She's putting on a big robe and, like, walking down the street with a candle. Is that a hot tub? Um, it might just be a regular pool. Can I get in the pool? Probably. Can I try it? Wait, you didn't hear that because that was a whisper. I can't get in my own damn pool! Oh, well. You really can't. Also, these cursors are fucking trash. Like, like look at that. I guess some childhood dreams just shouldn't be fulfilled. <laughs> Kinda of disappointed so far. Don't worry, it's happened to me too. <laughs> I finally played something I was so desperate to play to as a child. That, I think I'm supposed to go to that chick's house to get any further. Probably. And I wanna but do I, I wanna do scandalous things, because that's what this game is all about. Oh yeah. If you're ever unsure of where to go, follow the blue compass arrow at your feet and it will guide you to where you need to go next in order to progress with your goals. Oh, God. More questions. Tending your garden will raise your happiness need and you should get check your mail every day. You never know what you're going to get. Oh. Do so, select your mailbox and then click on the A horse still mail though. action. If I could... No, I don't... Where, where am I going? 
You've oh, just acquired the game is just checking your mail now. The flashing inventory button, represented by a purse, in the lower left corner of the screen. Primary goals appear inside your goals tab in blue. Secondary goals are green. To complete an episode and move on to the next one, you must complete all complete of your blue episode. goals. Complete an episode. Can okay. I cry yet? <laughs> no. You will cry when I'm damn good and ready. And allows you to move around the neighborhood more easily. <laughs> like I said, if some childhood dream map, shouldn't be fulfilled. <laughs> this is really disappointing. If you double click on a house on the map, you'll move to that home immediately. Use the map to save time. <laughs> the I thought that I was gonna like go and have sex with the gardener or something. Oh well, we'll get there. We're still in tutorial mode here. Tutorial mode is taking too long. Yeah. Am I, where the? F that cursor is a fucking high heel. With I know. An arrow. I, I see it. it like, fucking am I, hell. Is it? Am I just supposed to go this way? Um, I don't remember what house it was. Um, do you see it on the map? Cause... They say to just to follow the arrow. Oh shit! Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Don't don't look at him. Don't look. Just okay. Yeah, because we're such criminals. <sighs> I had like an ounce on me here. I'm <laughs> gonna go and meet the ladies for tea. <laughs> I had like an eight ball in my pocket. That would have been bad. <laughs> Yeah, this one. You can just click on it, and you'll just go there. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Fuck you! Pat, that's me! What? That's me! Oh, I'm in the way. What are you saying? What? I'm saying that's me! That you're like, oh, oh, oh! That, yeah. that avatar represents me. Oh, you want to it's it's a video game though. He wants me to get hit. <laughs> like if if video game Pat dies, whatever. I don't care because <laughs> I'm just video game Pat. I'm not real. I video know. game Sarah is just a bunch of polygons. It's fine. <laughs> In fact, if video game Pat dies. I understand. Constantly. You just want to get with the realtor. Oh shit! <laughs> Have I been exposed? <sighs> Pisses me so, off. How sorry, easy. I had to take a lap around the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I had to know who everyone was <laughs> and their secrets. I'm glad you can make it. And look at you, all dolled up for a girls' night out. Thanks. After spending all day in the house getting ready, I decided to freshen up a bit. Remind me, remind me not to move again. It's a lot of work. Why don't you make yourself at home? Everyone is excited to meet the new girl on Wisteria Lane. I'm glad you invited me, Bree. Hey, why did you say we skip the meet and greet part of the evening and get right to the juicy gossip? I think I'll do just that. I can't wait to meet everyone. <laughs> Playing it straight and narrow, eh? I don't really care about- Wait, the whole point of this is juicy gossip, what am yeah, I doing? I was like, wait, I... didn't you just say that- The whole- What's wrong with me? It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Susan Mayer. Hey Susie, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Are you married? Do you have children? God. Hey Susan, can I call you Susan? Do you have any problems getting your husband to let you out of the house? What? It's nice to meet you too. Now that Miss Mayor or is that Mrs. Mayor or Miss Mayor? Is this the Do juicy one? <laughs> Why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Are you married? Do you have children? I, I'm not myself in this. <laughs> I'm not married anymore. Yeah, that's right, your video Just game, Sarah. Yeah. Who cares if yeah, you die? Yeah, I, I keep on... They're not gonna kill me. No. These people don't exist. I'm not married anymore. Just call me Susan. What happened? Was it a messy divorce? Or did he die or something? I'm sorry, Susan. What happened to your husband? Not married anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? 
No, it's okay. Just the standard happy marriage turned bitter divorce. <laughs> At least I got something good out of it. My daughter, Julie. One day, I found out that my ex, Carl, was cheating on me with a secretary. So I did the only sensible thing. I kicked him out. Or he left. Depends on who tells the story, I guess. I'm glad you got yourself and your daughter away from him. What a bastard. Uh, couldn't keep him interested in the goods, huh? <laughs> I'm completely over him now. I can concentrate more on my children's <laughs> books this way, too. It's so bad. There's a continuum oh, in that. Shit. So, tell me about yourself. What does your husband do? Well, I'm a stay-at-home mom. My husband runs a private practice down at the health center. Uh, Patrick works at the Fairview Health Center as a doctor. Fairview Health Center. Uh, he is a very talented and respected doctor. Really? I dated a doctor not that long ago. Dr. Ron. Didn't really end that well, though. <laughs> See, the thing is, I had just remarried my ex-husband for health insurance purposes, and I tried to protect Dr. Ron's feelings by not telling him. But uh, for some reason, he didn't get that I was just looking out for him. What? What the fuck? <laughs> really, I, I don't feel like it's my place to comment. Sounds to me like trust was the issue. <laughs> you, <laughs> you had a right to be mad. Your doctor friend was being ignorant. You're obviously dealing to keep him out of trouble. Plausible deniability. You're right. I need to stop beating myself up over it. I had better let you get around to the other gals. Let's see what other bullshit we can find out about. Now we're in the desperate housewives part. This, okay, I'm gonna be real. This kind of suburbia right here, of like keeping up appearances Howdy, and. Welcome to the neighborhood. Pretending you're I'm something you're not and all that. It just seems like pure fucking hell to me. <laughs> like. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm Sarah Forrester. Nice to meet you. Hi, hey. Lynette. My name's Sarah. Uh, that's what that one is. They're both that. Seriously? But one of them is like a mm hmm and one is a mm hmm. Let me do a little preemptive strike here and apologize in advance for anything my brood might do to you or your house. <laughs> they are amazing kids, but you know how it is. Sometimes they just get a little out of hand, especially when the three boys get together. Thanks. I'll be sure to lock my doors from now on. Lynette, your children frighten me, and I haven't even met them, them yet. What, are, what is it that you were going for? <laughs> it's better to prepare the uninitiated for the worst. My twins sometimes act like they just escaped from a zoo and my oldest just follows along on their adventures. I bet you and your husband's hand are sore from all the spanking you have to do. Jiminy Christmas. Uh, my son had a share of adventures but in the end he learned from the lessons my husband handed down and on his behind. <laughs> Meaning beat your kids more. <laughs> My husband and I don't believe in hitting our children. Don't get me wrong, we punish them, but in creative ways. In stuff that'll leave a mark on his mind forever. Um, the key comes to keeping children under control, when I'm only in, spanking works. When it comes to keeping children... Shit. Under control? Yeah. Under control, only spanking works. My husband and I were both disappointed, and we... Disciplined. Oh, disciplined. And we turned out... Fine. Yeah, the truth is, spanking is the way lazy parents teach their children to behave. And Tom Ooh. and I love our children far too much to be lazy. Oh yeah! Besides, 
Every day Katy I Perry deal with fight. advertising executives who behave far worse than my boys. <laughs> so do you and your husband both yes. work? We traded staying home with the kids for the first couple of years, but now we found a way for both of us to work and spend time with the kids. I don't, I don't know. Work can be rewarding and all, but nothing seems as rewarding as raising a child and keeping a home. <laughs> I completely agree. My job as a housewife is what keeps me going each day. I can never give up any of the time I've spent raising my son. I won't feel, I would feel guilty or selfish. Man, I was a stay-at-home mom you're, for you're really years, so I understand. pushing your own agenda on them. Oh, I don't want to keep you all to myself. But... You're, you're really being like, no, my way's the best way. Hello, I'm Gabrielle Solis, but you can call me Gabby. Well, Gabby, I have to say that dress you are wearing is absolutely stunning. Um, please to... Pleased to meet you, Gabby. Do you always dress up for gatherings at Breeze? Or is this a special occasion? Um, nice to meet you, Gabby. I like your dress. I'll do this cheeky one. This whole thing? It's nothing special. Stella gave it to me years ago. <laughs> Around here, it's practically haute couture. Oh! Wow, you must pull have a lot of pull in this neighborhood to have people like Stella give you such extravagant dresses. Who do you know? Uh, Stella's some phones from down the street. How did you manage that? Well, I don't want to be immodest, but... I was actually an incredibly successful fashion model before I married Carlos and moved to Fairview. Oh, that sounds so glamorous. The parties, the celebrity, the money. It must have been hard to walk away from that. <clears throat> Should I choose that one? Well, that's the only one we've seen so far. Oh. Uh, this Carlos must have been some man to be able to pull you away from a life like that. So... What does your husband do? He's a doctor, a family practice position to be specific. Patrick works at the Fairview Health Center. He's a doctor there. I just happen to be married to a very talented and respected doctor. Mm, like you're defending doctor. my honor or some I shit. Know that you're well <laughs> taken care of. We should go shopping sometime. I know all the best places around here. Absolutely. I'd love to go shopping with you. I love buying new clothes. <laughs> I'm not much of a shopper, Gabriel, but I did enjoy talking to you. Maybe I can stop by your place sometime and chat for a bit. You sound like a woman after my own heart. We're going to get along fine. It's been a real pleasure talking to you. Now that we've gotten all the formal introductions out of the way, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself? Um, my husband, my son, and I have just moved into town, and not too long ago, not too long ago I came over because I wanted to meet my new neighbors. As I've told, as I've told some of you already, my husband, Patrick, is a doctor at the Fairview Health Center. We have a son together, Flynn, and we are looking to forward to a life in Fairview. Oh, there isn't much to say, really. My family and I just moved into town, and it's get, getting ourselves acclimated to life on Wisteria Lane. Oh, how nice. And really and bragging how about me being a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> this about, is game, Sarah. Yep, exactly. About 20 years or so, I think. I can't tell you the exact number, but it seems like it was only yesterday that we were walking down the aisle. Um, hello? <sighs> You're a woman. Shouldn't that number be etched in your mind somewhere? I wish I could tell you all more, but I honestly can't remember that far back. My wedding day is sort of hazy for me. It should be, but my memory isn't exactly in the best condition. <laughs> You're That's just very strange thing going to say. like party rock. I'll say all time. Just what do you mean by that? I mean what I said. I can't remember. There was a magic 
Oh, tra a tragic accident about 20 years ago that ruined the better part of my memory. I was forced to fill in the blanks with family photos and what my husband told me. Oh! It's just that some time ago I was involved with the accident and lost the better part of my memory leading up to that point. My husband filled me in on the details, but I only sort of remember. An incident that happened 20 years ago gave me a case of amnesia and I still haven't fully recovered from yet. Good news is, you're the fucking avatar now. <laughs> and you're gonna have like all these crazy Dad, powers I certainly now that you remember you your lineage. That. I'm terribly sorry I asked. Perhaps we should move on. I don't know, Bree. It's not that bad. I know I've got more than a few moments in my life that I'd like to forget about altogether. All the while, or the, the whole mess said was. The whole mess used to bother me, but I've since moved on. There's not much I can really do about it at this point. It's been difficult not being able to remember things that everyone else can, like my childhood or my parents, but I've been able to move on with my life. Don't take this the wrong way, but that's just so weird. From what you're telling us, it sounds like there's a huge stretch of your life that you can't account for. How could she possibly take that the wrong way, Gabby? I'd like to take this time to apologize on Gabrielle's behalf. Apparently she's been taking notes from the Edie Britt School of Social Etiquette. All I'm saying is that when you only know about one half of your life, there's no telling when the other half might come back for a visit. Ladies? What do you say we cut the small talk and get down to business, hmm? I don't want our new neighbor to think I'm a snoop or anything, but I saw Edie do something questionable the other day. Let's fucking do this. <laughs> Gossip, <laughs> hit my shit up. No objections here. Spill it, Gabrielle. I saw her sneaking around and digging through people's mailboxes while I was out jogging. <laughs> my mailbox? No. It wasn't any of ours, but I thought you should <laughs> Ouch, you all just have... Ooh, you'll have to hear... Hear what I found in my mailbox. What are you talking about? Um, I found an envelope with the initials EB in it. Where are we running ads? Well, I'm not. I bet it's juicy. Is it for desperate housewives? I don't know. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to no, sound we, scandalous. We had a, we had a chat message. Yeah. Someone's actually watching. <laughs> um. Oh, really? Because I'm not set up for that. Either way, I'm not seeing anything from that, so someone is. Actually, I'd rather just discuss this when Edie's around. Well, of course not. No, not yet. What did they say again? Uh, have you opened the letter you got? Well, why not? Go on. The truth is, Edie will find something on you sooner or later, so it's better if you strike first. Open it up. I'm not one to ordinarily condone tampering with people's mail, but I am curious. I hate mail. Uh, I'd really rather not open it. I wouldn't want somebody tampering with my stuff. Okay, I guess I'll open it. I'm pretty curious as well. Okay, I'll open it. I'm pretty curious as well. That's strange. Do any of you know if Edie's been on any medication? There's a bottle of pills in here. Pills? So that's what you was looking for. They're probably special extra strength birth control pills. You know, considering how much Edie gets around. <laughs> no. well, maybe it's something she puts in her oh, dates drink shit. to get them all riled up. Wouldn't put it past her. I definitely feel the love here. All the uh, comments she was making this morning, I could see Edie doing that. They're probably not diet pills. I bet she drinks slim fast. You are so slim fast. Great around here. More ads for your ass. I agree completely. And while I would love to stay and continue this discussion, I gotta go before Tom lets the kids play one of his car racing video games again. 
Yeah, oh, I've been what? going to. I have some work to do on my book. It's been such a pleasure meeting you all. I look forward to getting to know you all better. I have to go. Thanks for having me over. Your secrets button, indicated by a folder, is where all of the dirt that you've gathered on other people in the neighborhood is stored. Of course, if you do anything secret worthy, it will be listed here as well. Where is it? Um, it's the folder. It would be right here. Am I supposed to click on anything? Uh, nope. That's just what you know about Edie. That okay. she's been in other people's mailboxes and shit. Sneaky bitch. Is that the map? Uh, yes. Where is my house? Right here? Or yep. our house? Yep. Right there. Okay, let's go home. Because there's nothing else to do. <laughs> Whoa, walking through the lawn? What kind of the fresh, high class suburbia the housewife are you? Yeah. manicured lawn. Yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck, Sarah? Why are you walking through that? Because I have no respect for anyone. Salons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clearly. I don't respect <laughs> authority. <laughs> don't. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Ch -ch -ch. Cutscene. Boss battle starts. Can I help you? Oh, sorry. This really isn't as bad as it looks. Really? Because it looks pretty bad. Well, you wouldn't know it yet, but our mailman can be a little absent-minded. I have some important real estate documents that I was expecting days ago. Wait, you mean this package right here? Yes, that's it. You didn't open it, did you? What does that say? It was in my mailbox, you know. I just wanted to see what all the hubbub was about. It was already... It was already open. You're not used to lying, are you? I can't believe this. Don't you have any respect for other people's things? Listen, I'm sorry. I saw it in the mailbox and I just thought it was for me. I'm coming from the woman searching for other people's mailboxes. Well, whatever. Just promise not to tell anyone about this, okay? And in the future, you should probably treat other people's stuff better. That's right. It was in my fucking mailbox. Did you, did you check the mailbox, right? Oh, I have to? Um, no. No, you can't. All right. We good. Wonder if you're home and we can. It's the same number. What the hell? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna answer it, I guess. Um. Hello. Wait a minute. What phone are you calling from? What phone are you calling from? Oh, okay, okay. Um, hang on, I will be right back. Do you mind being left here? I think to I solo can handle it for a little bit. I think I can handle it. All right. Welcome to your kitchen. The cooking mini game will allow you to make delicious and nutritious food for your family. Unlock more recipes as you play and see if you can work your way all the way through the ranks to become a master chef. The recipe card contains all the instructions you need to prepare your dish. The task list tab limits what appears to only those actions which are available, whereas the- Oh fuck, I probably shouldn't have done that. Apparently I can't cut fruit to save my life.
so my fruit salad is gonna be horrible. Where do you go? Oh. That smells really good. But that's not what you're supposed to look like. Sorry to scare you. We just got home. It was as busy as can be. There is so much work to do setting up the new office here. I really underestimated how much. Okay. Well, the game didn't take into account how I wanted you to look at all. <laughs> it didn't save it? No. Like, you know what? It didn't really save yours either. You no. You kind of had a ponytail thing going I on. I had a ponytail, yeah. And my hair isn't that color. Yeah, that didn't save shit. <laughs> My fruit, my, I made fruit salad and I did a really shitty job. Yummy, 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 so what yummy, do I do now? yummy, fruit salad. I don't know. Oh. ...files that have to be updated and organized. Hey, look at this. ...to network together. Luckily, I found a new assistant to help out around the office. I have two dogs. You know what, Hank? You're streaming too. To hear about your day, Get up, 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 really hungry. Do it. Dinner almost ready. Do it! Don't think about it! Just do it! What does that say? Oh, uh, there's plenty of totally frozen meals in the freezer if you <laughs> want it to make your own dinner from now on. Ooh. Yes, it's just about finished. In a few moments, we can all sit down and have a nice family dinner. Thanks. I look forward to hearing your story. Oh, look at this thing. I made fruit salad, everyone. Really shitty fruit salad. <laughs> the only thing it saved was Fuck our kid. Yeah. Uh, Mom, Sarah replaced. No, I'm just playing dog. To speak to your mother, young man. Oh. Uh, no, dear, he's right. The new kitchen will take some getting used to. The stove runs hotter than I anticipated. Well, I think this is delicious. Really? <laughs> How did you like your new school? I don't really want to talk about it. Can I be excused? Flynn, this is the only time each day where your father and I get to see you. Can you just endure a few minutes at the table with us? Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, gross. <laughs> He's stabbing that. Stabbing them grapes. What does that say? Uh, I'd really rather you not just sit and talk with us for a little bit. That's ridiculous. First you forced me to move to this stupid place. Now you won't let me leave the dinner table. I understand that you feel... That you feel... How you feel, but this is important for your father and me. Hi, other dog. You want to be on the stream too? Oh, uh, she could jump up here. What? Hey, I'm being hosted. Um, what the fuck? Oh, oh okay. No, this is not a mod for The Sims. This is a game that was made in yep. 2006? It's... Yep. Based off of the Desperate Housewives TV show. Well, it is the Desperate Housewives TV show. I would see commercials for this all the time, and I wanted to play it, and now I'm playing it, and I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's its own standalone game, probably based off The Sims. Oh, God. You have dog breath. I like you, but you do have dog breath. Fine. What do you want to know? Have you met anyone that you like at school yet? Most of them are total losers. There were a couple people that seemed pretty cool. Oh, really? 
Were any of them cute girls? <laughs> Honey, please, that's unnecessary. Can you tell us anything about these cool people? Would you like to tell us more about them, Flynn? Well, there is a teaching assistant that seems really helpful in my English class. Good. If you make friends with her, she might be able to improve your grades. <laughs> I don't think students and teaching assistants should fraternize. Oh, honey, Flynn doesn't need to schmooze to improve his grades. He's a very bright child. So, can I go, or do I still have to serve some time? I need to meet my old friends online. Yes, you're excused. Thank you for sticking around. Oh, just get out of here. And I think the other one is, Oh, why don't you ever care about your dear old mother? Is it so hard? Well, it is so hard to talk to you. I was going to say you... No, is it? Is it so hard to talk to us? I guess you can go. I remember back when he enjoyed hanging out with us. What happened to him? He became a teenager. They just get like that. Don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. Um. Uh, that, that was it. I always remember back when he enjoyed hanging out with us. What happened to him? Uh, I think he had the plague or something. I no, you'd think know. we have the plague or something. So anyway, how was your day? It was an interesting first day. There certainly are a lot of characters on this street. Bye, dog. Hey, other dog. Lily. Yeah, it's your turn. Come on. Yeah. Other dog. Fuck yeah. Sorry that I'm not reading this, you guys. I just... Oh, I'm sorry. My prescription uh, she, is shit. She came off as a little forward, but it seems like a good... Like good intentions. She barged into our house and started ordering me, ordering me around like a maid. She welcomed us into the neighborhood and told, told me some of the history of our house. Well, she seems like someone who will make an interesting neighbor. They were very friendly, but I don't trust them yet. All they want to do is gossip about others and they try to find out if I had any secrets. Uh, it was so much fun meeting new friends. I'm sure they'll be one of the I'll be one of the gals soon enough. They all sound really nice. Maybe we can have them over for a party sometime. Oh really? The Turok reboot. I I actually had the two towers game, and I couldn't get past like the second level. I just remember them constantly screaming, "Steal yourselves!" Would it be bad if I stood up while playing this? No, not okay. necessarily. Just so that I can do the reading and. Yeah, um, I could try this. This is. Are you ready for Pat ruins his life playing uh, playing Desperate Housewives? Hold on, Sarah. I, I have a, I have a potential solution. Okay. I might have to plug my phone in for it. I'm going to remote desktop from my phone into there. So I can look here and read shit, and then choose it on there. Yes. It'll be a little laggy. My glasses suck, guys. It's all good. Well, just so they know why you're having to read shit for me. So now try hovering over it. Uh, well, I I need to get the right amount of zoomage. Zoomage. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Some of the people I met are the kind I would definitely like to have over for a little get-together, and others not so much. Um... Hang on. Hold on. Shit. Hang on a sec. I apologize for not letting you okay. tell me about it earlier. Uh, okay, dog. Okay, dog. <laughs> oh. I got a little 
little stand for the phone. Wait, no. Okay, so I have this little stand for my for my phone. But we really want the basement quality propping up a phone experience. You'd of course want your uh live G free, gluten free shells. Oh, you might cheat on me. Oh, shit. I might? Yeah, with your, um, assistant. Fuck. I asked how old she was and you didn't want to answer me at first. <laughs> no need to be defensive. I trust you. Um. <laughs> I wouldn't think otherwise, dear. I can imagine her impressive resume and her well-rounded set of t skills. Honey, please. Okay, I can, uh, Don't you trust I can me? put this up a little higher so that it'll be a little okay. closer. Will, will that work? Yeah. Do I need to pull everything forward? No, I'm, I'm good. Uh, would it be easier if it was over there? No, it's fine. This is fine. Okay. Right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's what people say when it's not fine. That is what people say when it's not fine. <laughs> Which is worrying me. Um, of course I do, dear. I just want you to be careful. <laughs> um, after meeting some of the women around here, I just worry about you. I will be careful. Because I'm insecure as fuck. <laughs> I start... Oh, now I can see it. I'm just- I want to keep that there. Oh, cool. I certainly hope not, but how about some dessert? That's good to hear. Are you ready for dessert? I'm happy I've- I'm so happy I found you. Do you want some dessert? Uh, I don't think I can eat another bite. Just try. Straight oh, to bed and unwind a little. Nice idea. I'll meet you. <laughs> I thought it meant sex. Oh, it does. Oh fuck! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh! Are you getting a boner? I'm getting a boner. I've had a boner this whole time. Good. Nearly getting killed by getting Sometimes crushed by a car really gets me going. It sure does. It's like flatliners. It's a thrill. Only time will tell whom will prove to be a friend. Uh. And who will reveal themselves to be a worthy adversary. What's Mr. Shaw's occupation? Is he a private investigator, doctor, or reverend? <laughs> the most successful families are the ones that work together to achieve well, their goals. Well, sometimes you gotta suck a dick in an alley between course, between parties, you know. Have the occasional kink or two to work out. Apparently, we we just no beat our kids. Together in a family. I don't remember who any of them were. <laughs> you didn't watch it because you hated it. I thought. No, I meant. Like what they were saying in the party. I don't the, remember. The blonde with her. That was just with her husband. Okay. Often have precious little to do with the reality of what's going on behind closed doors. No, I don't want to go through the window. Oh shit. It's me underwears guy. Oh, he does look like me underwears guy. I have a little tragedy on our hands. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I'm Daniel and this is my twin brother Frank. We just like getting to know our new neighbors, don't we, Frank? <laughs> of 
course we do. Desperate housewives, but everyone is the guy from Silent Hill. Oh man, that totally makes sense. Oh, this well, street is actually Silent Hill. And this is what, how you gotta live your life out, is trying to like keep up appearances in this hellscape of suburbia. Well, it's nice to see that someone around here has good taste. You wouldn't believe what I saw that Edie Brick character stepping out of the house in just the other day. Oh shit. Oh shit. Give me the dirt. Actually, I run my own business. Maybe you should show her what you do. Frank is starting up an internet-based networking company. He can set up the computers in your home for you. For free, of course. That is assuming that it's alright with you. Is it? What? Okay. Oh, hide the dog again. There. I'll start with that one. Get on up! Bah. Wanna come? Watch him fuck up all of our computers. Wanna come up? Wanna come up? You so, look like you might not want to come up, magic, but do you want to come up? Chat a little bit until he if I say, do you want to come up, it'll convince you. Huh? 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 Come up. Yeah! Good dog. Listen, sweetie. Let me tell you something about our little neighborhood. You will never die of boredom. There is look what I got. always something going on. Sorry, I'm trying to. Yeah, no, you're good. So what are you? What are you saying? That facade will quickly fade. Trust me. He's basically he telling me that I'll tell will me. never die of boredom in this neighborhood, mm -hmm. and I'm telling him that it's kind of dull right now. Gotcha. Um. Oh, you want me to read what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like what? Like, and, like, you don't have to read all the options, just the one you choose. Or... Okay. Really? All right, give me the scoop on everyone. Oh, there's so much to tell. Too little time. Well, did you notice how Susan Mayer was acting this afternoon? She was running around like a chicken <laughs> with its head cut off, flipping over <laughs> chairs in her backyard and on the porch. She seemed pretty freaked out. She must have lost something important. <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing. Susan seems to have her head on straight. All right, I'm all done with that one. Are there any others you need set up? You should head over to my son's room next. If he finds out his computer isn't hooked to the network, I'll never hear the end of it. You know the you know how teenage boys can get. His room is just upstairs. <laughs> you teenage, can't miss it. A teenage boy without his porn for like three hours. Yeah. Good night. Frank can be a little coarse at times. But he means well, so you get used to it after a while. He didn't really seem all that bad. He was in the military so long, I think he got used to barking orders at people. <laughs> what? I, I do like the idea that they're building it, some, like, alienware kind of shit. Interesting, <laughs> like some... I couldn't tell. After he finished his service, he landed a job in the city, but... He wasn't happy there. So we decided to get a place together out here in the suburbs. <laughs> so there must be a great story behind why you made the, the move to Wisteria Lane. <laughs> special reason for why I'm here really there's absolutely no room for you but you can come up to I guess you could say I just dog to take away from the fashion industry it was like a big party that never stopped but sometimes you really need it to stop Having all those models around you all day isn't exactly rough life, is it? Yes. It did get awfully hectic at times. Hey. This fucking like god. Oh god. Oh, it is? I guess I'm not surprised. He's good with computers in that way. And that system of his is top of the line. 
Dual processors, two gigs of RAM, it works. <laughs> yeah, 2006. Dual processors, two gigs of RAM, the works. Uh, you best believe I'm going to play some Quake 3 Arena on that bad boy. Funny, that sounds like something he would say. Your computer, you computer people all seem to speak a different language. Oh, is that so? <laughs> I've set up the browser for you with a tutorial and a bookmarked homepage. When you start the browser for the first time, you'll be directed through the tutorial. If you're already familiar with the internet, it should be like riding a bike. But give the tutorial a shot anyhow. To skip the tutorial, oh, good God. just click the skip tutorial button. And that's that. You're all set up. <laughs> I set up your browser on your computer. Do you know what a browser is? Uh, Thank you so much, you're a doll. You're welcome. <laughs> well, it was an absolute pleasure meeting you. All right, bye, dog. The gonna... dogs are just going to be in and out all stream. <laughs> are they going to tell me what to do next? Uh, yeah, go to the computer. And then you can do the... Browse web, online poker. <laughs> online poker. There you go. Here it fucking goes, my friend. Oh, but what if I lose all of our money and then we have to leave? Yeah, no. But I don't know how to play poker. Huh? I should have thought of that before you got on the internet and started playing some online poker. Uh. Exit game. Exit game. <laughs> Just DC. <laughs> Just rage quit. I want to browse the web. <laughs> Maybe I can find porn. Maybe. Oh, Jesus. Anything is done in a number of ways. Bookmarks, links, and searches. This tutorial will cover all of these methods, but for now, just start with buttons to make surfing easy. Do Do I even need this? Um, I would think no, but hey, look, SlimFast Optima. And Sears. Yeah, oh, and Sears, yeah. Yeah. You still exist. Actually, the one at the Mall of America does still exist, but yeah. now they're going out of business. Yeah. But yeah. they were hiring before, so it's like, what the fuck? Pick one. Are you folding or are you not folding? Oh, they're folding. They just need people for the fold. Oh, pet rescue. Refined living. What kind of fucking browser is this? A really shitty one. The formal garden. Watering. Killing pests and pulling weeds. <laughs> Orlando. Orlando, Florida. A Florida woman was arrested for stuffing her bra with hot with a hot swallow. Oh jeez, whoa. Barb Ellsberg, twenty eight, faces felony charges after stuffing the exotic blue blue millet swallow into her bra so and walking out of the like bird. A Florida man story. Walking out of the Birds of Paradise pet store, office officials said. This is an early Florida man story. <laughs> Ellsberg allegedly pilfered the swallow so she could trade it for a large quantity of rare collectible figurines. <laughs> Apparently, after telling the owner of the collection how she got the animal, the shocked citizen contacted the Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Ellsberg has been charged with grand theft and illegal concealment and an en enraged of an, of, a, of an endangered songbird. Quoted outside the police station, veteran wildlife detective Lonnie Kratz said, The circumstances of the case are the most bizarre I've ever encountered. <laughs> he continued, This is even more bizarre than the man with robot arms who had an illegal tree frog sanctuary in his garage. That almost seems like a... In today's news! <laughs> like an Onion article. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe I can go onto my go to go to my son's computer and be like, 
What do you have on here? <laughs> Find all the porn. It looks like you can. Can't do shit in here. Now browse the web. Look at his history. I don't think this game is that. <laughs> well, try it. Try it. See if you can find his fur affinity account. Fur affinity account. What, like a furry website? Yep. Uh, is is there a history? Is there some bookmarks? What kind of noise is that? It's like a typewriter? What's in the wacky news? Okay. More about that Florida about woman. The same one? Yeah. They're all connected to the same internet, man. I'm holding out hope that something good is gonna happen. Oh yeah. The computer has two actions: browse internet and play internet poker. Browse internet will allow you to scour. If only two websites, things you can do on a computer. About neighbors and Did people really play internet poker that much back then? You to play poker I know my dad played a shit ton of Spider Solitaire. Real budget. Which I did too. Uh, yeah, it it is a thing. Um. Like, in fact, one of my, uh, one of my bosses is, like, still super into video poker. Remember, double-clicking That's, on like, what he does on your mini -map will allow you to instantly travel he goes to that home. Helping you to get around quickly and easily. Also, note that the red X icon on your mini-map will help guide you towards completing your current goal. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Sarah? It's my garden. You worked hard on those, I assume. No, I didn't. They were just there. The previous owner of this house must have worked well, hard Well, they on fucking them. sold it to us, so it's not their business what we could do to their goddamn flowers anymore. Wow. Yeah. How could you be so heartless? No, I'm a bitch. How could you be so heartless? Remember me, right? Lynette Scavo? Listen, this is gonna sound odd, but Attack I don't know with Susan Meyer at all. I mean, how well do you know her? Oh shit. Not that well, yeah. Okay. Not that well, really? Yeah, not. Oh, I'm not saying these things out. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. I'm just wasn't really tracking what good? was happening. Good? <laughs> We're talking about Susan Meyer. Know her a lot better. Oh, and just how would I do that? Let's just say that one of her paintings somehow came into my possession, and I just wanted to return it to her. Just what do you mean came into your possession? Let's just say that my boy sort of borrowed it. Borrowed <laughs> it? Home without asking her. Your boys stole Susan's artwork? Do you know why they stole the painting? Or, wait, I, I'm only supposed to read the one I'm picking. Whatever. Let's just Borrowed without borrow asking, you mean stole. With your help, <laughs> Susan won't even know it was missing. What exactly makes it my problem, Lynette? I'm sure Susan would understand you if you told her the truth. Here's the thing. They've done this to Susan before. She was cool about it, but I could tell that it bugged her. Do you want me to to say I stole it? I don't don't know. take the rap. I don't have to say anything. Trust me, it's simple. I'll make sure to keep Is an it? eye out and you can slip in and return Susan's painting.
Is this some hazing of for the gullible new neighbor, Lynette? Just to see how far you can push me? Push the new housewife? So, give a girl a break. Will you help me out? Come on. You should be aware. I won't take no for an answer. You know, they don't call me a shark in the boardroom for nothing. You really should do your own dirty work, Lynette. Well, I really hope you reconsider. <laughs> I wouldn't want word to get out that you're uh -oh. not the neighborly type. Oh, shit! You just got shut down. It will be worth your while. So, give a girl a break. Will you help me out? You should be aware. I won't take no for an answer. You know, they don't call me a shark in the boardroom for nothing. I suppose, but just once. You owe me big. Great. I promise I'll make it up to you. You just got like a mafia shakedown. You don't realize you're going to be sleeping with the fishes. Now what am I supposed to do? Do you have to get the art or do you have the art? Check your inventory. Where is my inventory? I think it's down one. I don't know where I put Susan's that. painting. <laughs> is this her house? Uh, no. But you can kind of mouse over down in the, in the there. It's fine, Susan. Whatever. Yeah, that's. Yeah, this is. We're at her house. Oh really? Sneak in. Do -do -do -do. Snake. Well, shit. Now where does it go? Just want to let you know. This is breaking and entering a federal offense. <laughs> I tried to say no, <laughs> but you wouldn't want to be unneighborly, would you? You'd hate the majestic bear to think what would happen. Ready to claim its prey. You did, however, its prey are not listed. You're making too much noise. Well, I don't know where the fuck to put it. Fresh bear meat. The little fish devils swarm around the submerged bear. It'd be that little table thing there. Quickly devouring the startled bear's delicious legs. Unable to move away, the dying beast eats up the bloody floor. Oh, you, oh shit, you made too much noise, and now you have ten seconds. Eight seconds, seven, six. This is not fair. No. You got got? In there, you could wake the dead with that racket. Get out of there before someone sees you. We'll try again later. <laughs> Video games. Where the fuck do I put it? This is frustrating me. I don't know. Sorry. Part of the issue is they don't let you go very far into the house. Just see. <laughs> There's like some guy with a Bluetooth headset and sunglasses and a suit, and he's just driving slowly. He sees you in his SUV. He's like. <laughs> no, God like, damn it, take the shot. You can just keep doing it, though. I want it to be done, though, because this is dumb. Yeah. Yeah, it is. 
Yeah, it is. Like... Oh, you shit. You could take their... Their iPod. It doesn't tell me. I, I just read that and it doesn't tell me where to... That tells me nothing. Like the place that one of her upcoming books is there for her. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, if I make it look like I'm going too far and I... I have to stay within this. Yeah. No, totally. What the fuck? What? That's some fucking shit. I hate it. Part of the problem is I'm wearing heels. <laughs> Oh, stack of paintings, there you go. Now Snake, exfiltrate the area. Do you believe in me? That was okay. Fun. I'm good. <laughs> hey, Sarah. Yeah. This game sucks. I feel Shh. okay. I'll try not to speak too loud. Shut up. It's a good thing that nobody was around to hear you making all that noise. Even though you were the worst cat burglar I've ever seen, I want to give you this gift card. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> gift card. It's good at any store in the shopping center. So it's just a fucking Visa gift card then. <laughs> Thanks again. <laughs> Okay, what the fuck? Guess ever. what? I need to get this off of me because the cops are tracking it. Here's this. Uh, take it into the into the fucking money gram and and send into the Western Union. Send a wire transfer of of one ninety nine point nine nine dollars. Make sure it's not any more than that. And send three transactions from this gift card to. To this account number. Sorry, everyone, my neck is aching. You, you wouldn't want your, uh, you, <laughs> you wouldn't want your, uh, want to appear unneighborly now, would you? I just did a lot for that fucking gift card. I broke, I did a, wasn't, isn't, isn't that, isn't breaking and entering a federal offense? It is? Yeah, I just, all for a gift card. <laughs> just a random... Visa gift card. Better be a damn good gift card. Wait. Does it want me to check my mail, maybe? I'm not sure. I hate how it moves like that. Yeah. Oh shit. Hey. Hey, Sarah. Is that you? Yeah, it's me. <sighs> Hi, dear. How's my sweetheart today? Oh shit. Look at your razor, your Motorola razor right there. It is 2000. I was doing just great, but now I'm feeling even better now that you called. Wonderful. I want to make sure that you stay happy. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I the hope you don't mind, but I took the liberty of letting the therapist next door know that you would be stopping by. I just figured that with everything being new, it couldn't hurt to hear another affirming voice. 
Don't you agree? The fuck? Sign you up for therapy because, you know, maybe, maybe it would be good. Don't you think that's a little presumptuous? I'll go, but only because I need someone to vent about your behavior right now. <laughs> I guess I'll see you later tonight, hon. Bye. Well, that was with like three ellipses, so. Yeah. It's like a. Bye. Oh, shit. I should feel bad about that. What is that? File folder? To open when it's open you lose it you lose the open property of it did I just lose everything in it no no now what more do I have to do I go to my car oh, look at that sensible medium sized we're going sedan. to the mall <laughs> oh my god Look at that sensible family sedan. For Valentine's Day, can you bring me to the mall and buy me everything I want? <laughs> you know, with that gift card you got? With that gift card I got with the breaking and entering? Oh, oh, from our crime gift card. <laughs> right. No, I can buy you anything with our crime gift card from the crime account. But I can't... I can't spend my money. I have to use the crime account. Well, we don't want to be rude. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be on the- look at that, just the symbol of Venus. And the, the- Jesus Christ. Look at that shit. Look at that on-the-nose-ass shit. Fuck you, Maul. You're a piece of shit, Maul. I hate you. Let's go to like the most- ooh, the store looks like it's gonna be spendy. Oh, it's a salon. Alright. You switched your hair up. Yeah, it was bothering me. <laughs> How do we only have four thousand nine hundred twenty dollars? <laughs> That's more than I have. <laughs> no, I mean living in suburbia. I live in suburbia. No, as a... You're a doctor. Okay. How do we only have that much? Uh, because that's what she has. Oh. Not what he has. Let's make me look really fucking slutty. Should I just walk around the neighborhood in this? I don't think you can, but I don't know. I just want a different top. About that crop top Laura life. Crop Tomb Raider. There you go. Yeah. Oh, halter too. Am I hot now? Very much so, Sarah. No! Go away! What are you doing? I think it's stuck. Okay, what? It's stuck. Okay. Click on the icon. Oh, no. Never mind. I think I'm done at the mall now. Let's go get our car in the Let's fire go lane. Piss in the fountain. Can you do anything with the fountain? Probably no. Not. 
We're this, uh... But I want to be the the wife on the on We're this postal, lane. too. You could pee in that, in that fountain all you want. That's the kind of freedom you need to have in a game. The freedom of postal, too, at least. Oh, it's a Chrysler Pacifica. Should I garden? No, but do it. Welcome to your garden, your own little plant sanctuary. Take good care of it, and you'll be rewarded with beautiful. Let's destroy it. <laughs> Let's destroy it. What am I even supposed to do? Eat buttholes. I didn't listen to the tutorial. <laughs> Oh, just kill all the bugs that are eating your plants? Kill the pests. Kill each pest. Wow. What a fun game. Yeah. What a great use of my Saturday. <laughs> I have to actually... There we... I have to actually move the mouse to... To weed. Wow. Yeah, it's actually taken. It, it's taking work to play a video game. Wow. 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 This is really fucking boring. How do I get out of this? Um. Oh shit! Is there no exit? Gotta be. Check those buttons on the left side. Exit. Okay. <laughs> good. Good. I don't know what to do. I mean, we've we've been at this for about two hours. I think I think that's a a good stream. But I feel like we didn't get anywhere. Oh yeah. Or you're a little newer to basement quality here. But that's typical. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I think that this uh, game is really shitty. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. It's not the it's not the amazing game I thought it was gonna be when the commercials came on when I was thirteen. Shit. But I'm glad that you d that you bought it. Yep. Yeah. So that I was able to try it. Yeah. And see what it's like. But even though it was a little dream crushing, <laughs> it's what it goes. It's yeah. What it goes. But. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Yeah, this was fun. And stay tuned for more date night later. Once once the boys are back, we'll be playing uh, Dream Daddy. My 13-year-old self was lied to. <laughs> uh, not on stream, we'll be playing Sexbot Quality Assurance Simulator. Oh, boy. That one, I'm going to have to block a few things out, probably. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Have a grand old night.